In the series, I've been focusing on how to actually get your website created or set up to at least have something to work with. And now I'm going to shift the focus on actually customizing this default template that we've got and customizing some of these default settings we've got to show you where things are found and basically some of the features that we can use within WordPress to help you set up your site and how those, some of those settings will be set up. So we're going to now focus with a purpose in mind and I'm going to go ahead and create a website that's going to be based on mountain biking just for fun so you guys can go through this process of learning how to build a website throughout this series. Now there are going to be some differences if you're using the wordpress.com website and you can see that I'm using the lecture snippets.wordpress.com for this series. So some of those settings will be different and I'm going to cover both. I've got um, both my dashboards open for two different WordPress sites so you can see some of those differences if you choose to host it on another place. Um, which if you want some of those advanced features, that's what you're going to want to do. But if you're wanting just to start off with a free blog, the WordPress.com is a pretty good option for you to at least get started and get familiar with WordPress itself. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll talk about some of these options we've got. I'm going to go to the dashboard here for my WordPress.com website. And you can see the default settings that we have um, on the default page here where we can actually make some changes. You're going to see some advertisements probably if you're using WordPress.com just because we're trying to make more money. Uh, for you by upgrading your website if you haven't upgraded it. You'll see some of your stats and so forth for your website, but I want to focus in on this video on the actual settings, the general settings more specifically. So I'm going to go hover over settings and I'm going to choose general. And I've been here before in the last lesson, however, I want to focus in a little bit more about what we're actually doing here within our website itself. So you'll see the site title. The site title, we've changed it uh, to make it a space in here. I'm going to go ahead and rechange it now to Mountain Bike Adventures. And then the tagline here, this is kind of a controversial thing. Some people really like to use taglines and other people say not to put them in websites. So it's really going to be up to you what you like to do. I've seen some great ideas with the tagline wherein people will put a comment from some visitor of their website or something to, to kind of use rather than coming up with a tagline for your website itself. So this is really kind of an optional thing. I can just remove all the text and have no tagline there or I can add what I want. I usually like to start out with that ellipsis there just to kind of give it that feel and I usually like to keep everything lowercase if I were to use this. And so this is a style of bike hardtail 29ers and so I'm going to go ahead and keep that in there for my um, tagline. It's going to show up on my website. Some themes that you may choose which are the templates, the way that your whole website is put together and looks, may not use taglines and uh, on your website's actual page. And they actually may not even use the site title, believe it or not. So that's going to be, whenever we're all said and done, you're going to want to check your theme to see how it looks, how it feels, determine whether or not you want that to appear on there itself. So that's our tagline. Now this email address, we set that up by default whenever we created the account here in WordPress.com. And this is going to be that administrative account's email address where emails will be sent to and you can change that if you want to. The time zone, I will highly recommend changing it um, from this UTC to whatever it is you're working with. And now if you're in the United States, you're going to want to pick or look through the America option here. There's America and find a city that will work for you. Since I'm in the Eastern time zone, I'll go ahead and pick Detroit. There we go. It's Detroit is my city. And then let's go to the date format. We're going to see on our default template, you'll see that actually being used right here under this posted on. June 28, 2011. If I want to change that, I can definitely choose any of the formatting that I'll have here for the date and the time. Some themes will use the time format, others will not. It just really depends on the theme itself. What ends up happening is there's a function that runs in the background and these themes can pull your date and your date information, your time information and the formatting that you have set here. So you'll want to pick something even if you don't see it now in the future you may decide to use a theme that will work. So I highly recommend setting both the date format and the time format. So for instance, if you don't like the word March in there, we could definitely pick uh, 329-2012. Or if you're in a different country and you like this, or if you use military format, you can definitely use a different type of format here for your own. And you could also customize it yourself. So this is the options that we have. I'm going to go ahead and save my changes to, just to show you that if I refresh my page now, after the settings have been set. Alright, you can see that it says posted on 6-28-2011, so my date format has been changed. And you can also see the title that we have here, Mountain, oops, looks like I spelled it wrong there, so I may want to go back and change that. There we go, Mountain Bike Adventures. 
and I'll have to go ahead and resave that for that to work. But what I want to point out is not only will it change here on the site title, but it'll also change at the top here under the tab itself. So both places will show your site title. And if it's large enough, you can actually start seeing some of your tagline as well in some of these browsers. So that's going to be something important. If I refresh it now, the settings will take place only after I refresh the page. And you can see that there. So that mountain bike adventures is set up. Now let's go back to our settings and talk about some of the more things that we have here within our settings. You see this week starts on, and you may think it's funny to start it off on Monday because weeks don't usually start off on Monday. However, work weeks do. So you have the option of what you want to choose here. I'm going to choose Sunday and I'm going to go ahead and save it. What this really affects off the, off the very beginning here within my WordPress site is the calendar that we've had out here to work with. And now this video isn't to teach you how to use the widgets yet. We haven't gotten that far, but I want to show you if I hover over appearance and go to widgets, there is a widget that we have and the widgets are just a software applications that have already been pre-built for us to use within our website. There's a calendar. And if I drag that calendar over and I refresh my web page, I'll see that calendar and I'll see the start date that's on that. So whatever you pick, is where that calendar is going to start and some other applications that you can put in here so you can see it starts on Sunday. If I left it Monday then it would have started on Monday itself. So depending on the applications or the widgets that this website has it'll pull that information and find out which day to start itself on the calendar itself. So let's go back to the settings and we go back to the general settings themselves here. Okay and so that takes care of the week starting on Sunday and now there's one more thing that I want to work on and this is going to be for WordPress.com type of WordPress websites and this is blog picture and this icon that we can use. I'm going to go ahead and browse for a picture and right now I'm looking at my desktop. You're going to want to look if it's going to be on your computer somewhere. You're going to want to find where it's at in your hierarchical structure of your operating system there. Look for it whether it's in your desktop or your downloads folder or wherever it is that you're working with and choose that picture. I'm going to choose this picture that I have here called bike pick. And I'll hit open. Now what I'll also need to do is after I hit open, it's not going to automatically do this. I actually need to hit the upload image button and that'll go ahead and work on uploading it for me. And how you can tell that it's working, you can see up here where the WordPress.com it's going to go through and it's busy uploading this picture. So it's going to take a minute here or just a few seconds to actually upload this picture that we're working on. And now we have the option of actually cropping it. And you can see the picture is loaded up here now and I can crop it. So I'm going to go ahead and expand there we go. Use the whole picture itself and then choose crop image. And then what's going to end up happening It's going to tell us that we're all done now that I've hit crop image and it goes through. There it says all done. And it showed me some different pictures here that I've got here to work with on different sizes. I can now go back to the blog options and so it says your um, Blavatar image has been uploaded and you should start seeing it appear around WordPress.com soon. So basically what happens when we start leaving comments on other people's websites or even on our own website there's a little picture that shows to the left of um, the comments that we make and that's going to use this picture that we just uploaded here. So I'm going to go back to the blog options and so that's something that we can use with WordPress.com. Now let me show you, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. Here's another WordPress website that I have set up that you can see. A couple of the options are a little bit different here. You've got your site title, you've got your tagline which are the two things that we've done in this one here set up. But you also have the options or basically you can modify your WordPress address and the site address. Now WordPress.com does not allow you to do this but if you had your own hosting company set up or your own server that it's running from, you're going to have a couple more options here to work with. You still have your email address. Now one of the notable things to work with is the membership. We can create logins and we can have people create their own logins if you decide to do your own hosting company or your own server itself. And so this is going to be a little bit different but we could click here to allow anyone can register and then they could create an account on your website automatically. So this may be an option that you want but you will need to upgrade it or choose a different hosting company in order to do this. And so you have the option for what kind of role somebody is. Now the roles are going to be different. The subscriber is going to be the least, um, as far as the least permissions are going to be concerned, the administrator is going to be the greatest. And then it's going to kind of work down from administrator, you've got editor, author, and contributor. So there's the different ones that we have here to work with, administrator being the highest, and then it works its way down. The least would be subscriber. 
to your actual site. So depending on if you want to have additional people write for your website, you may want to choose one of these options here for us to work with. We still have the time zone, we still have the date, we still have the time format, and the week starts on. So that's a little bit of the differences we'll find between using WordPress.com and your own hosting company or your own server. So this is setting up the general settings on WordPress.com. In the next video, we're going to talk about the writing and the reading settings within our settings here.